So in this video, we are going to see the third practical of CAE that is plate or shell element structural linear analysis. Here we have to determine the stress distribution over a three hole plate as shown in figure. Okay, so here in this plate the three holes are there, two holes of 10 mm and a big hole uh, that is of 15 mm. Dimensions is also given that is 100 mm horizontal and vertical that is 50 mm. One uh, edge that is one, surf uh, one surface is fixed and next the force is applied that is in a compressive nature of 1000 Newton. Okay, and material is structural steel. So we have to solve, find a solution in FEA software that is nothing but the ANSYS workbench ok so drag this structural steel in project schematic give the name that is plate or we can say shear analysis first here yeah, that is the engineering data double click on it you will see uh, the material which is to be selected again the by default structural steel material that we have to select so material which you have to select that is already by default appear another material you can select if you want different material you can select from this uh, engineering data sources ok so various type of materials are available next is uh, geometry so in geometry you have to create an object so same whatever the dimensions are given again the thickness is also given thickness is nothing but the 1 mm okay so same 3d model we have to create in this modeling menu go to first of all right click click on xy plane right click look at so i will select uh, xy plane for sketching select sketching then we have to draw a rectangular cross section before that uh, select the unit so unit we have we require that is millimeter select the rectangular cross section select one edge again select other edge select dimensions to give the dimension S select general click on x sorry horizontal and vertical line so dimensions uh, will be seen here in dimension 2 horizontal h1 and v2 so horizontal dimensions which is given that is 150 for vertical horizontal is 100 so you can edit dimensions vertical is 50 okay. so zoom fit so you get the object next you have to create this 2d drawing into 3d for that you have to use this extrude command click on extrude so here in detail view geometry you have to just apply it by default sketch will be selected you have to add the material again the depth nothing but the thickness is given that is 1 mm in numerical the thickness is given that is 1 mm okay so all dimensions are given just click on generate so this 3d model is created what is next step is to create the holes inside this plate as per the dimensions for that you have to select the this face okay you have to select the face right click and look at ok go to look at that face again go to sketch select from drop down menu select the circle so create a circle and create all three circles
makes give the dimensions and the proper location general okay so this if i will select d1 so d1 is 15 mm diameter that is 15 mm dimension 15 and both rest that is 10 mm small holes which are of 10 mm now the, if you see the location is at the center means here from 25 from this face and again from center hole it is 25 okay so give the proper location for that we have to use again general click on this center point click on upper surface okay adjust it so l4 you have to edit this that will be 25 okay so vertical distance is adjusted now horizontal distance should be adjusted again click on this center point click on this vertical line so this will be 50 mid point next same adjustment to be done for rest of holes so this distance will be 25 again this distance will be 25 vertical distance and distance from the center to the center is again 25 so dimensions given center to center distance is 25 next as uh, what are dimensions we have created next part is to create the hole for that again you have to use the extrude command okay again we have to apply the geometry by default it will be create so here in operation instead of add material you have to use cut material okay depth of cut is again 1 mm and generate so if you can see that hole is created okay so what the object is required that we have created the modeling menu next minimize this part okay so geometry is green tick that is nothing but geometry is created go to model next so you have to give the meshing boundary conditions the next part it will take specific time to open the menu bar okay so so the model is seen here next part is you have to do meshing right click on mesh and select generate mesh okay so meshing is done now you can also change the size of this mesh you can uh, uh, reduce the element size so so that accuracy can be increased now i will uh, uh, do the analysis for by default mesh next you have to give the boundary condition so for that click on right click on static structure insert okay so whatever the boundary condition is given if you see in diagram one face you have to fix you have to fix it and in another face you have to apply the 1000 newton compressive force okay so same boundary conditions you have to apply right click insert so force force is of 10 uh, sorry 1000 kN so you have to select the face so first of all select the face okay. 
zoom properly and then select the proper face okay after selecting just apply it okay next in define by here vector is here you have to select a component in component if you see the component you have to apply in this direction that is nothing but the x x x axis okay now x where it is in this direction it is positive okay now you have to apply in opposite direction so you have to give a negative sign minus thousand see the direction so direction is in opposite direction of this so minus ten thousand is nothing but the compressive force which we have applied next is insert fix so fix support is to be given to the this face first of all zoom it properly select the face okay apply so both the boundary conditions are selected first face b is nothing but the face fixed and face a is force which is applied of thousand mu okay next right click we require solution insert deformation total deformation insert stress equivalent stress insert so various type of results can be found out insert stress normal stress in x direction y direction okay solve it will take some time to find our solution so if you see we got the result that is total deformation is uh, maximum is 0 0.01 209 mm if you click on maximum and minimum probe it will show the where the maximum point is there maximum def def total deformation is there and minimum maximum is here where the force is applied minimum which is fixed you can use this probe section where the specific point you can find out the deformation see the stresses if you see the stresses which is act at the critical part okay so maximum stresses which is generated this region which is nothing but the stress concentration next strain normal stresses can be seen and the simulation can also be seen how the force is created what with changes in the structure or stresses okay so i hope you understood this practical thank you thanks for watching